Horseshoe crabs. This is so cool, a horseshoe crab. Talk about a winning design. These guys have been around forever. So awesome. Why are horseshoe crabs so remarkable? Horseshoe crabs are ancient marine arthropods that existed long before the dinosaurs. They live in and around shallow ocean waters and soft sandy or muddy sediment. Despite their name, horseshoe crabs are not actually crabs, but are relatives of scorpions, spiders, and mites. They're not dangerous. They don't have teeth or jaws, and they're not venomous. Horseshoe crabs are sometimes called living fossils. 76 species have been described to date during its long paleo history, yet only four have survived. The oldest actual fossils of horseshoe crabs date to the Ordovician period 450 million years ago. It is remarkable that these species seem to remain somewhat unchanged since this extremely ancient date. Why do horseshoe crabs still look almost the same as they did millions of years ago? One reason is hitting on a winning design early on. Another element is living in stable, predictable environments. Over that long history, evolutionary change has particularly affected the nature of their legs. Today, horseshoe crabs have segmented legs at the front which they use for walking and feeding. Their rear legs form flattened gills for breathing. In their ancestors, scientists believe these functions were combined in limbs with two branches, one limb for walking and eating, one for breathing. They have lived in more diverse habitats and have more diversity of form than researchers once thought. Horseshoe crabs use their long tails as rudders in the water and to flip themselves if they get overturned on the beach. In 2022, stem fossils of the Ordovician horseshoe crab, Lunataspis borealis, was announced from Kingston, Ontario. This species provides new insight into the forms and function of these ancient creatures. Hi, I'm at Big Owl's Aquarium Services and I'm here with Marlin like a fish, uh, or like the fish, like right? Like the fish. Like the fish. And we're here to learn about horseshoe crabs. So, here's Marlin like, like the fish. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marlin like the fish and we're going to be talking about horseshoe crabs today. So, over here we have this little two inch baby. And uh, horseshoe crabs are uh, a really old species that's been in our planet for a long time. They've been around for over uh, 500 million years. Uh, that makes them even older than dinosaurs, which is pretty amazing. So they're like the great, great grandfathers of this planet. Uh, they've been around so long. Um, uh, it's, uh, some, some interesting facts is they're actually not related to crabs or lobsters. They're more related to spiders and scorpions or the family of arachnids. Um, other interesting facts is they have six pairs of legs, uh, five of them which are used to walk, and the other two are used to crush up food and shove it in their mouths. They actually don't have jaws, so the, the front two legs that have the little pincers are designed to shred and tear up the food, so it's easy for them to swallow. So when they're adults, uh, and adults get about almost like a foot in diameter, so to give you a picture in your head, uh, they get roughly the size of like a medium pizza. So you got these large horseshoe crabs and about 20 times a year, they'll lay clusters of eggs and each female will lay about 4,000 eggs. They do that 20 times a year. Uh, the eggs are typically a blue greenish color. Once they hatch, they'll seek, uh, they'll go to shallow waters that don't have a lot of predators where there's a lot of safety. And then there they'll eat a lot of detritus, uh, some algae or whatever they can get their hands on. And as they start to molt or shed their exoskeleton, uh, when their babies are actually see-through, so you can see into their bodies. But as they get older and they start to shed and molt more frequently, the, the body gets darker and darker to the point where you don't see through them. Uh, and this takes about a few years before they reach adult size. One of the, uh, another cool interesting fact is that they, uh, they glow under UV light, so we're going to try it out. So you can kind of see them glow almost like a green. So I'll shut it off. 
and then it's regular light on him and then this is the UV light so once it's on him he kind of has this greenish blue glow to him which is pretty neat and yeah, just like scorpions yeah like in the last video you did uh, the scorpions glow glowed under uh, UV light and so does the uh, horseshoe crab so it's pretty neat stuff awesome Well, this is so cool. Thank you so much for uh, letting me experience this guy. No problem. Their blood is used to identify endotoxins in solutions. Anyone who has had an injection or surgery has been kept safe from dangerous toxins thanks to these creatures. 